Chris Alley and Mark Bernard from Bernard Organics and Freetown PEI. We are an organic grain farm primarily, um, but we also produce organic feed for um, all sorts of folks all over the Maritimes. And we have a small beef herd and some laying hens, and we raise meat birds as well. Uh, the soil is really the foundation of everything that we do here. Um, we have seen it. This is our 17th season mm -hmm. growing, and it's just become increasingly important and, and increasingly obvious that it really is the foundation of everything we do. And it, we try to make it the foundation of every decision that we make. And um, we've really seen that in the last couple of years um, in some changes that we've made in order to better the soil specifically. Um, so while yields pay the bill, um, soil is really what is, makes the difference in those yields. And so that's become a real focus more than even when we started. Yeah. In a lot of the work that we have done, we've noticed on years of drought or whatever else that the soil will be more resilient on a drought year when we've built up the soil and have a, a better components in the soil of organic matter and nutrients in the soil that are not just a quick flash of fertilizers in there. So it's, it, it has helped to look after the soil in that matter to build up the organic matters. So we take care of the soil in the our initial business plan was um, for grains and it was developed on a five-year rotation so we would never grow the same crop um, uh, within five years so it would rotate that way so we were really uh, adamant on making sure that, that we weren't taking too much from the soil and we were giving back and everything was a give and take relationship with the uh, with the rotation um, and that's worked up to a point and now we've uh, extended that rotation to eight years and in, in, included cattle into that rotation so that the cattle are a part of our annual cropping system. So they're again adding back into the, the soil and adding back for the crops. And so another part of the extra three years adding on to our old five-year rotation was more cover crops as well. Yeah. Um, and then also we purchased a no-till seeder to reduce tillage. So while we're still figuring out the best way to make use of that. Uh, it's been really great to have that tool to have the potential to, to seed into stubble or to seed into whatever is left out there. Being organic, there's usually a few extra things left after harvest. So it's been nice to have the option um, to no-till whatever, whatever we're planning in there. Um, so yeah. And then we have recently invested in the Soil Food Web course with Dr. Elaine Ingham. And so I think this is where we're feeling the most potentially excited about what we can do for our soil. Um, because I think for a long time we were just sort of maintaining and now we feel like we can actually start to regenerate or build and increase that soil matter, soil organic matter and just the soil biology. So yeah, between the no-till and the cattle and the cover crops, and the soil food web course. We're optimistic. We'll see. Mm -hmm.